Nine slice scaling is one of those things when you first try it, you look at it and you go, what? And really what it is, is it does protect images from distortion. And let's take a look at how all that works. Open up the uh, autumn02.png image located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you will see that there is an image of the leaves and there is a bit of a background behind it. Now select the image and just go to the scale tool. Now I want you to see what happens here. I want you to drag the just the edges out. And you notice that as you drag, the leaves distort, and some of these corners also distort as well. What if we don't want to distort this leaf? What if we want to just distort certain areas of it that the user isn't going to pay attention to? This is where nine slice scaling comes into play. Undo your changes. Now the nine slice scaling tool is not a command, it's right here. So if you come to the tools panel and click on the scale tool and then down the bottom is the nine slice scaling tool. And what it does is it breaks your image into a grid of basically nine squares. These are each slices. And anything outside of the area here does not get distorted. So if we want to say maintain the integrity of this leaf and just scale out the box, just move the left guide just about there where the curve starts. Bring the right guide. Notice that when you put the cursor over, it changes to a splitter. That's what you're looking for. And just put it on the edge of this leaf here. And we want to uh, maintain a little bit more of this leaf than that. And we'll just leave that where that is. Now, watch what happens when you scale. Pull this handle out. Notice that this distorts. This pretty well stays the same. Now, watch what happens when you pull this out. As you can see, it moved, but the leaf's distortion, the, the leaf in focus, really didn't distort all that much. And the reason is because it was inside or outside of the guides. So if we select the nine slice scaling tool, you notice it resets, but what we had done was basically say anything outside of these guides gets distorted. So if you want to protect images, nine slice scaling is a way to go. And if you can identify areas in an image where you do not need to have worry, or if you have areas inside an image that can handle distortion, then nine slice scaling may just be the way to go. And just to review, what you do is you just select the image, come over to the tools panel, click and hold, and nine slice scaling is there. And to apply the grid, just put the cursor over one of the guides and just drag the guides out to define the areas where the slicing will occur.